A father and son on the front lines of the war in Afghanistan, The Hornet's Nest, is a new documentary that follows journalist Mike Betcher and his son Carlos as they embed with U.S. forces. Here's a look at part of the trailer from the film. I knew where we were going was the heart of darkness. The one thing I could not let happen was to let my son die. Carlos! And we're joined by uh, Christian Turow and Mike Betcher uh, to discuss the film. Good to see you both. Christian, you. Uh, I know you helped put it together, but first, Mike, you were, have been a network correspondent for decades. Why, why do this different type of project? Why not cover the news the way you had for all those years? Well, because, you know, after three decades of doing this, I wanted to do it my way. Um, and going back to the first time I ever covered U.S. forces was, was the Marines in Beirut in 1982. You know, I always wanted to go back to old traditions. My heroes growing up were, were journalistic heroes, were people like Ernie Pyle. So these were people who told soldier stories, who were with them constantly. What we developed into in this new era was parachute journalism, I thought somewhat, that we were going in, we'd go in for a week, tell their stories, come back out. I wanted to endure the same things they did for the same amount of time they did, and that's, that's why I chose to do it this way at the end of my career. The challenge is, though, when you're a network correspondent, at the end of the day, your story goes up. Mm -hmm. When you do it this independent way, you have to find someone like Christian who will then find an audience for the film. So how are you guys doing that? What is the challenge that you now face? Uh, the, the initial, well, I guess the initial challenge that uh, my partner David Salzberg and I faced was that Mike shot, Mike and Carlos shot the footage in bits and bytes, so it was for the news. So to actually take hundreds of stories and hundreds of characters and 500 hours of footage and trunk it down into a 90 minute narrative, that was compelling. And part of that, that narrative, which maybe, maybe you can speak better to, or maybe Mike can as the person who actually went through it, is the story between Mike and his, his son Carlos. What is that story? It's uh, a 25 year story of uh, Mike being the best at what he did. Uh, so he was always traveling, he was always on the road, he was always in these wars covering them, and he wasn't home a lot. So Mike and Carlos had a little bit of an estranged relationship, I guess we could mm -hmm. say. So um, they went to Afghanistan to try to rebond and rekindle that relationship on the front lines with U.S. troops. So you went there to do this a different way. And what did you get? What did you get that was different by embedding than parachuting in? I got to be up close and personal with those soldiers. I got to know them, and they got to know me. So what you see is in this film that you don't see in others is a real honesty about what happens on the ground there how tough it is, why they fight, what happens when they lose their brothers and sisters in battle. And it's emotional. Part of the reason you did this was a, a frustration with elements of, of the network news model. How do you think network news has done in covering these wars? It seems like an implicit critique of the way we cover. Well, you know, I think, <clears throat> and I actually was at NBC News, and I would do two months in Iraq uh, and one month out, two months in, one month out. And I was chained to one of these cameras a lot because we had MSNBC, uh, and I was doing live shots constantly. And I felt that we weren't getting out there to tell what was going on, either with the Iraqis or with the soldiers fighting that war, and more so in Afghanistan. So that's why I left to do this. Now, it is, anecdotally, you can look at, at coverage of various networks. We're lucky at ABC that we have Martha Raddatz, who's in and out of there all the time. Uh, and. And I think, you know, if we had more Martha Radices around the world, that, that we'd, be, uh, we'd be better off in telling this story. But overall, we've done a really poor job of telling the story of these people that we send and have sent to Afghanistan and Iraq in our name, what they're doing. It's almost like the Roman legions, uh, where they sent them off to battle to Gaul, and then when they came back in 10 years, they had a big parade and it was over with. That's and that was bad for Rome in the end. Mm -hmm. And that's what I worry about. If we lose that connection with those people we send in our name to fight those wars for us, then that is dangerous to our democracy. And I think we as networks and, and as newspapers have to do a better job of that. Okay, the film is The Hornet's Nest. Christian Turow, Mike Betcher, thanks so much for uh, telling us about it. Thank you very much, appreciate it.